The LA Sparks began the season with a heavy road schedule. Then they fired head coach Derek Fisher. That was one third of the way into the season. They've had multiple player injuries and most recently star center Liz Cambage reportedly quit the team resulting in a contract divorce between the center and the Sparks which occurred with just nine games left in the season. Now despite all of this the Sparks sit in the number eight spot in the standings and they're fighting for a spot in a very tight WNBA playoff race. And so right now to discuss all of this we bring in WNBA reporter and co-host of ESPN's Around the Rim Tarika Foster Brasby to discuss. Hey Tarika how you doing? <laughs> hey Ross, great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's wonderful to work with you here. And I know you have all the insight on what's going on in the W. Look, Liz was supposed to be the Sparks prized off season pickup. Did you see this coming at all? Not in the least bit, at least not in the beginning of the season, right? I mean, Liz has always had a clear desire to play in L.A. She's admitted that, you know, she eyed L.A. when she was playing in Australia. We also know that she's expressed interest in off-the-court endeavors like modeling and music as a DJ. And so we as fans, we were excited to see her play in L.A. Like, this was what we wanted. And seeing her alongside with NECA, bringing a dominant inside presence to that Sparks roster, like, we were ready for for it, but as the season progressed, Roz, you know, I guess it, I could go from not necessarily expecting it to not surprised mm -hmm. that it happened. There was just a myriad of things that happened over the course of this season, especially in the locker room from disagreements about jersey numbers and the amount of touches that she was receiving and the public fallout about the comments that she made about Team Nigeria, knowing that you're playing with two Nigerian teammates, mm -hmm. right? So I definitely didn't see it coming, but I ain't surprised it didn't work out. Mm, it's definitely been a tumultuous season. So what's next for Liz? Will she play in the WNBA again? Like, she's a talented player. Uh, could you see a team taking a chance on her? You know, this is a tough one. And as much as I hate to admit it, Roz, I really can't see her playing in the in the league, especially not in this year for certain. But I look at it like this, you know, Liz is a player. She's a four time all star. She was once in the MVP conversation. She has all the talent in the world, but but she got baggage, right? And so it's difficult to think that a coach or a team would really be willing to take a chance on her, especially at this point in the season. Like I mentioned, she doesn't seem to be a player that, you know, would want to go to a rebuilding team. So we can't see a team that's struggling or a team that's looking to kind of start fresh picking her up. And then I also can't see a coach who has, you know, jailed, who has brought chemistry, who has figured out what's working in their locker room, bringing on a player like Liz again at this point. It's very difficult for me to see it and it's kind of sad because there's a lot of talent like she is one of these star centers in this league and to know that there isn't a team that may be willing to take on the challenge of handling the the personality of a Liz Cambage is actually really sad yeah and in the midst of all of this the Sparks they're, they're still in the playoff hunt how can they overcome this and find themselves in the playoffs gosh you know so here's the thing right this team isn't a team that's unfamiliar with having to play without Liz. Like she only played in 25 games this year, right? And in those 25 games, she only played like twice, 30 more, 30 minutes or more. So it's not that like this is a team that doesn't know or doesn't understand how to win without her. And then when you think about all the adversity that this team has had to overcome this year, I mean, they started off the season losing five games in the first two and a half weeks. They lost their coach mid-season. Um, they had to deal with COVID. They had to deal with injuries Christy Tolliver was injured Kennedy Carter was injured like when you think of all those things you you kind of feel like if there's any team that can make this work out of a situation like this it's got to be it's got to be LA Neka Agumake is in the MVP conversation for a reason she's the leader of this team she's been dominant and she's been able to keep this team focused you've seen a player like Janae Agumake come off the bench when Liz was absent and she's been giving dominant double double performances if she can stay healthy the sparks will be fine you still have a player like Lexi Brown and Jordan Canada that's in your backcourt. Like this team has the pieces. Brittany Sykes is going to be amazing defensively. She always has been. And that's the thing that can keep LA in the conversation when it comes to this playoff push. So they're in the eighth spot right now. Don't give up on them, but it won't be easy. They've got a tough schedule ahead of them, Connecticut twice. It won't be easy, but it can be done. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.